Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Now and Then Some podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then some. That's right. And what are we talking about this week, Kales? Well, I'm thinking a little weekend recaps. Yeah. Okay, so I went to Corpus, like I talked about last episode, for my little cousin Michaela's bridal shower. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. Um, I just adore my Corpus family. We just have the best time when we see them. And the shower was done so well. Yeah. Um, just everything was to the Mamma Mia theme. Like there was stuff all over the walls. Everyone dressed in theme, either costumey or like pretty dress. Like I wore like a midi blue patchwork dress that was very like Grecian. I just had a realization. Hmm. I've never seen it. What? Never seen it. Oh, Robin. Well, that's going on the list. Add it to the list, baby. It's so cute. Oh, you would love it. I feel like I've seen bits and pieces and that's it's it. It's so up your alley. Yeah. It's so up your alley. Okay. Um, it was it was great. They just went all out. We had cute uh, blue heart sunglasses. We had the lays with the flowers. I mean, it was the cups where everything was to the nines, Mama Mia themed. Mm -hmm. um, they had, so Michaela had two ladies that, I think are on the other side of her family host it. Um, it's like two older ladies that live together that are sisters. Mm -hmm. And um, they have like a super cool house. And they, like I said, decked it out. Mama Mia. They yeah. went over the top on all the decorations. So cool. And um, it was funny, Robin. <laughs> funny story. So I was in charge of games, right? Yes. And, you know, I put on my best Steve Harvey and got up there. I love Steve <laughs> Harvey. Um, and hosted the games. And there, you know, there was a substantial 35 ladies wow strung throughout this house and i so i had to put on my host voice and really project and capture the room no problems there you know me <laughs> <laughs> um and so you know i had to get everyone dialed in for mm -hmm. my i had three games that we played with just the ladies and the boys came over after and so um we did the three games we did pass the bouquet like musical chairs they everyone was into that one it was very fun uh, we played Name That Tune. Oh, nice. So I did love songs. Cute. Did you and do Go Into the Chapel? No, because I that didn't want to do easy. I didn't want to do any that were like wedding themed. Yeah, they were too all on the nose. Right. They were all love songs, but not wedding songs. And then how did you, like people had to sing them or hum them? No, no, I played them. You played them. Okay. So they, I gave everyone a card that had song title and artist. I think there was 12 songs. Mm -hmm. And then I was on the speaker and I would play it. And then play it for like 20, 30 seconds, pause, and then everyone write down their answer. Um, and I had little prizes because, you know me, if I'm going to if I'm going to host or if I'm in charge of something, I'm going all out. Totally. So I brought little floral wine tumblers Cute. and mini champagnes for whoever won. Cute. So there were prizes for each of the games, That's too. Very thoughtful. of Yes. Yeah, so it was a really, really good time. And then the boys came over and I did the surprise video for Michaela. How do you do? Uh, Mitch did so well. Good job, and, Mitch. Yes, and Michaela, they matched answers on some, and then they did it on others, but it actually turned out to be very funny. Yeah. Um, And there was not a dry eye in the house Aww. at the end, because what he said was just the sweetest. Mm. And I looked around at the room, and everyone had little tears. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay. Where? <laughs> uh, so they loved that. But the funny story is, at the end of the shower, like at the end when we were leaving the lady's house, one of them came up to me. This is my first time meeting her. And again, she's not really related to me. It's right. like by my other side of my family right. it's removed. Like, whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. I don't even know what I that would be. I don't know what the term would be. <laughs> Step-in-law, brother, whatever. Step-in-law, aunt, great aunt. I don't know. Anyway, Twice she, come, removed. She, right, she comes up to me and she's like, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm a a sales trainer essentially I was like how do I simplify what I do yeah. I was like I'm a sales trainer essentially and she's like that tracks and she's like because I you know she's like two things I have like an event management company and I also do uh, like teaching at the schools for kids and like run different camps and stuff and she's like I literally want to offer you a job oh my god she was like your energy is just so great you commanded the room I love you did that. such a good job I was like oh my god <laughs> I have a job interview for this That's like amazing. it was so funny and she's like you don't live in corpus do you I was like I don't and she's no. like dang it she's like I totally would hire been like you. you can't afford me <laughs> right she's like I totally would hire you you did such a good job you tell her about the pod um, I talked to a bunch of my family about the pod all weekend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we, it came up in conversation yeah. with a lot of them, but yeah, she was, 
It was so funny because I, I was not that. expecting her to be like, do you want a job? Yeah. <laughs> so that was a little funny thing. But it was a really, really great weekend. Nice. What'd you do? Uh, I said that I had no plans, but I ended up doing stuff because that's how it goes. Always. Yeah. Swim meet, which was really fun. I hung out with Nicole and then um, went to their pool, like back to their pool with them. Okay. Like after the swim meet was over. And they broke everything down. Yeah. So okay. the men went to go like power wash something. Mm -hmm. And so we had the kids and Nicole got a new car. It's amazing. What is it? It is. Mm, it's not going to come to me. It is a Santa Fe Ooh. hybrid. Okay. Uh, her daughter called it a five head because the back's like really big and boxy. <laughs> That's funny. But it's cool. You can change the color of the ambient lighting. Love. Yeah. So God, I need a new car. It's fun. We went to <laughs> happy hour. Yes, you do. We went to happy hour this week at the new peach tortilla in Cedar Park mm -hmm. um, with Betty. Shout out Betty and Kelly and Nick. And um, we all got in her car afterward and like played with all those settings uh -huh. and stuff. It's weird because it has a chilled seat and she had it on for us after the pool, obviously. And it almost feels like your back is wet because mm, it's got all these tiny so little cold. holes. Yeah. Yes. Kind of bizarre. Um, but no, we had a blast. And then I think, what did we do in the evening? Oh, just dinner at the in-laws. And yeah, it was, I mean, it felt like I did a lot just because I, I really wasn't home that much. Right. But there was no like big events. Um, but we, I did it at a happy hour yesterday. I brought uh, freeze-dried candy. Okay. And I want you to try some. Okay. I've never had freeze-dried candy. I guess I'm trying this live. Yeah, I know I brought it up. I think I brought it up after Super Bowl because Betty had them at uh, uh -huh. her party. Her family went to this festival in Leander. Uh, she had to stay home with one of her kids, and the other ones went. And um, they got her a bunch of, like, you know, freeze-dried things that someone had made, not pre-packaged, you know? Okay. Like um, Skittles, obviously, a staple. Yep. Starburst mm. and Lucky Charms marshmallows. Oh. Yeah. So I'm like, this kind of already tastes freeze-dried. But they're not crunchy. Yeah. I mean, they kind of are. Uh, not as I... so i really want to try they have on their website um peachos i'm not a huge peach person oh what i love peaches but i don't like artificial peach flavor very much what yeah i love peaches that i've never but heard anyone say that before. artificial peach not my fave i love artificial peach i've heard people say that about grape and banana i don't cherry i don't touch grape yeah, I or don't cherry. Like cherry. I don't okay. Touch either of that. Do you like lemon though? You do. Yeah, I love okay. lemon. All right, these lemon are anything. Lemon heads. Oh, We're gonna I'm do a little taste so test. So excited. Okay, let me get a little ASMR crunch mm -hmm. in this mic right now. I feel like two probably because they're pretty tart. Two at a time. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm scared of how loud this crunch is going to okay. be. Okay, I can turn it down. Um, warning for all that don't like chewing noises. Yeah. Here we go. Mmm. That, that cannot be a pleasant sound isn't it good that is like explosive no <clears throat> that is so good yeah i love that um texture yeah the texture is amazing no i love that so what's cool is that it doesn't matter what you freeze dry it's always going to have that texture oh i like that mm -hmm. that's so, kind of addicting i can't have those in my house i know so i sent them a picture of these i was like omfg you guys look what's at my target and they're like, I'll take one bag of that, one bag of that. I mean, they're nine dollars no. each, but no, I, I won't keep them in my house because I'll eat them. Okay, that's literally what I have to do for things Skittles. that I'm obsessed with. I won't keep them in my house. What's your Skittles flavor profile? Um, preference. I like the red ones or the well, green there's ones. One of each. Let's go green yellow first. Okay. Here we go. Back warning, Here crunching. Oh. Okay. Add an orange in there. Look, they even have the S on them. I thought that it, it's weird that they can actually use real Skittles. Okay, wait, I think I like these more. I do too. That's why oh I saved them God, for a second. Oh my God, that's good. Okay, hold on. Let me it do doesn't the even say Skittles anywhere on the bag or any like co-branding with Skittles, but it literally has the S on there. Like this is a Skittle. Okay, here's orange. Okay. Oh. Now the best flavors. Oh, you don't like grape. It'll be fine. Okay. It's not like I'll eat them. Yeah. Okay. Red and purple. Here we go. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Superior candy. No. It's the texture. I really have been wanting to show you these like mm. other times that I've had them. 
And even earlier today when we were together and I was like, I'm going to wait and have her taste test them on Delish, the y'all. Get the freeze dry candy because mm-hmm. that is really good. The website for these is Crazy Candy Fun. They have them at Target. I'm not sure that they have them at every Target, but that was Lemon Burst and Rainbow Bites. Oh, the other ones I got, I do not like. It's, um, it just said tang- tangy something. Like it, I thought it was going to be like a Sour Skittles or something. And it was um, Sweet Tarts. Blech. Well, I like Sweet Tarts. They're not good. Mm. They're big and chalky. Mm. Okay, well, those were really good. Yep. All right. Okay, no more ASMR. I <laughs> promise. No more chewing. For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I talked about this past weekend. I want to talk about this upcoming weekend, but when this episode comes out, I'll be, I'll It'll be, be the past just weekend. gotten back. Yeah. Um, headed to Fredericksburg mm. for a little wine weekend. Nice. Very excited. Going with my mom and her friends. Nice. <laughs> Gotta Why not? love it. Why not? <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, hello, I'm never, ever ever going to turn down a wine weekend. Yeah. Especially in Fredericksburg. I love Fredericksburg. Mm-hmm. So we're going to a nice little steak dinner on Friday. Nice. We're going to do wineries all day Saturday. I've made all the appointments, planned the whole day for us. Indoors, I'm hoping. All of the wineries have indoors. Yeah. That you can take pictures outside and go inside yeah. and enjoy the AC. And I booked, so funny. So when I went to Fredericksburg last, I think April with my friends, we did the the weekend Mm -hmm. um we were trying to figure out like how are we going to get around all the wineries like we didn't want to do one of the buses it's like really expensive there was only five of us yeah what do we do so we get in an uber to go out and the uber is like oh well we have like a a a, um what am i trying to a society of drivers society is not the word i'm like but i can't think (laughs) of what i'm trying to say it's a secret society a society of drivers in the fredericksburg area that do this on the weekends do you want me to call and see if anyone's available to drive y'all tomorrow nice that was like our uber to dinner on friday okay and so like they wait for you there and stuff yes or you have a specific time that you meet yes okay and so my the uber driver calls this person no they're not available calls the next person they're available Mm. her name's amanda so um I'm we're literally in the Uber. I'm like, okay, Amanda, can you pick us up at brunch at 11 and our first appointments at 1145 at Williams Chris. And then we have this appointment at two and da, 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 da. And I'm like, what's the price? And it's like, how are much an hour? We pay her for this many hours. And she literally drives us around to all of our appointments, waits outside. Uh, one of the girls I was with, like forgot her tampons. So she literally went and got tampons for oh, one wow. of our friends while we were in a winery. Sounds like, like a very fun gig, like just listening to these crazy women get back in the car. Right? I'm sure there's a, the occasional red wine throw up you have to deal with. But yeah. for the most part, I imagine that's a very fun crew. Entertaining like, job. Entertaining job. And all you're doing is just driving a bunch of girls around a winery. That's what I'm saying. It's probably mostly females yeah. or like couples. Right. You're not getting a bunch of like a group of rowdy dudes. No. <laughs> no. And so... I remember, and I was like, wait, I told my mom, I go, hey, wait, I have her number because I had it. I was texting with her. I'm the one that organized it last year. And I go, let me text her and see if she'll, if she's still doing that Mm -hmm. and if she's available. So I text her. She's in my phone as Amanda Winery. (laughs) And I text her. I'm like, hey, Amanda, you drove me and my friends around last year. I'm coming with my mom and her friends. Are you available to drive us on this Saturday from this time to this time? And what's the rate? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm available. What time do you want me to pick you up? Cool. What's can you send me your um schedule of appointments? I'm like, yep. Send her a schedule. Love that. So she's picking us up for brunch. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm excited for this weekend. I'll give you all the rundown for next episode. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Rockport to the beach. Kind of. It's it's yeah. beachy. Close enough. Yeah. And uh my in-laws got us a badass Air- Airbnb. Ooh. Pool, hot tub, Ooh, yeah. um, dock for fishing. That's like the best when you can just like if you go out and do something there mm-hmm. during the day and then you can just come back and like get yeah. in your pool that's at the Airbnb or mm-hmm. like chill in the hot tub at night or whatever. Yeah. The best. Tons of rooms. Um, Everybody's doing, you know, all the the food, groceries, stuff like that. Grilling, so, yeah. all that. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. It's going to be good. Okay, good. Y'all get to hear about both our weekends mm-hmm. next episode. Um, Okay. So a couple other things I want to talk about before we get into it. Okay. One is Akatar, my books. I'm on the last book. Nice. It's been a... It's been a journey. It's taken me a lot longer than it should. But not that long. No. And the books are thick. Like, the third one was 700 pages. The Mm. fourth one was uh, quick. It's like a little novella Mm -hmm. type where it, you know, goes between the different people's views. Yeah. Um, But now I'm on the last one, which is another thick one. So, Agatar is all over book talk right now. It's all over TikTok. 
Now it's all over my TikTok, <laughs> um, which I'm not mad about. Mm-hmm. And E! News knows it's viral right now. Mm-hmm. So they released an article with their dream ACOTAR cast of like who they picture. Because they're definitely. Did they already? What? Did they already like say that they're going to make it into something? No, that has not been uh, okay. official. Everyone's like begging for it. Yeah. You but think noth- that by now, I guess I just assumed. And now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, no, I don't remember. No, nothing has come out. But it, Wild. people are asking for it, especially now that it's back viral and yeah. popular again. So and then E! News releasing this Dreamcast. You're like, OK, I bet it's out there. Like, yeah. Waiting on the network to pick it Somebody's, up. Somebody's there's meetings going I, on probably as we speak. I need it <laughs> yeah. to be. HBO. You want it to be a series, not movies. I. It has to be. It's too much. You. You couldn't. You can do like one movie per book. No, I don't okay. think you could because it's even more heavy and complicated than Harry Potter. Like way more because it's you know fantasy land. More Games of Thrones adjacent. Game. Yeah. Game of Thrones. I think adjacent. it has to be a series. Okay. And I need it to be HBO because if we're gonna do this. We need to do it right. You're not doing Netflix or Hulu. You want like the full no, on production. I want the full on. I mean, there's some smut in those books, <laughs> and I think if we're gonna smut. do if we're gonna do smut right, we need HBO. Yes, I mean seriously. Or like, I feel like back in the day it was like Showtime. It was very smutty. Sure, but smut and fantasy stuff. That's what I'm that's saying. That's HBO's wheelhouse for so, sure. HBO, if you see this, <gasps> when is House of Dragons? June sixteenth. We're close. So We're close. close. Trust me, I got that locked in June my June 16th is also, or maybe it's June 13th, right around there is when the, I think it's June 13th, the next four of Bridgerton come out. June 16th is Father's Day. It comes out on Father's cool. Day. Yes. Yes. Um. So anyway, HBO, if you hear this, pick up Akatar and let's freaking do this yeah. thing. Were there any um of their dream cast that you were like, hell yeah or hell no? Or was it kind of, they're all like mid? I felt good about some of them and I felt like there were better options for others. Mm-hmm. So there's some that I was like, that's exactly what I was picturing. And yeah. some where I was like, I bet there's someone that would fit this better. Yeah, that's always going to be the case. Somebody's oh, yeah. interpretation or somebody. Well, especially with this that's so viral and everyone's talking about it. Like, yeah. you can't mess this up. Oh, they're going to mess up something for somebody. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Please, everybody. For I sure. really hope HBO picks it up because I need it in my life. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's all I had. I thought there was one more thing. I think there there is one more thing. Um, uh, Hunger Games. Oh my God! Yes, new book. And this is movie. kind of in the now, but we're going to talk about it now because we can't wait. Oh yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. Put it right here. Uh, so it's called Sunrise of the Reaping, mm-hmm. and it's it's following um Haymitch on the morning and day of the fiftieth anniversary of the Hunger Games. Yeah, so I think it'll be similar to how they did these Hunger Games, where it's like the reaping. And then the actual games. Okay. What follows the games kind of thing. What do you call like a half? Because like the quarter quell was the was something. Yes. It's the um what do you call a half? They listed it and now I can't remember what That's it was okay. called. We'll do it in Robin's wrong, Kaylee's corrections next time. Yeah, we will. But yeah, <laughs> I'm freaking excited. So the book, the book hasn't even released yet. Mm-hmm. But this it's such exciting news because everyone's ever since all these Hunger Games movies, it's like we need to know Hey Mitch's story. And so the book is released on March 18th, 2025. Yep. The second that comes out, I'm going to get on that pre-order because I need to be reading that ASAP. And then the movie comes out in November of 2026, which I know sounds like a long time away. But realistically, with the book not being out yet and everything, that seems actually pretty quick. Sunrise on the Reaping, 40 years after... Well, after Songbirds of Snakes, because that was the 10th Hunger Games. Okay. So it's the 50th Hunger Games, which is the one Haymitch one. Oh. What? I interpreted that wrong. I interpreted that as it is the 50th, and he's like his age now. But duh, because the quarter quell, <laughs> I was thinking the quarter quell was 25, but it was like 125, they, wasn't it? No, it was what, what Hunger Games are we on? That was 75. 75. The Modern Day with Katniss was 75. Gotcha. And I then, forgot about that. I just remembered the quarter part. And the 10th was Lucy Gray, and 50 is Hamish. Got it. So he would be 25 years younger than he was in as Woody Harrelson. Okay. Which I'm like, who are they going to get to play young Hamish? So it's also called a quarter quell. They just yeah. do it every 25 years. Got yeah. it, got it, got it, got it. Yep. Okay. This is why you're a great trivia partner. I've, I I've got her. I have remembered that. I've got her. Cool. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. So, 
I guess he's too old. I was going to say they might be able to like CGI with him. I don't him, think they but will. No. I don't think they will. Now they could do a little like flash forward, flashback and feature him. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to get someone to play young him for the majority of the movie, mm -hmm. which again, going to be a very important casting decision because Woody Harrelson does such a good job in that role in the modern movies. Mm -hmm. So they need to pick the right person. Whew. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready for the and then? Let's do it. Okay, my and then mm -hmm. is Perler Beads. Perler what now? Perler Beads. Um, Perler Beads. I had to look up what they were called too. But I was thinking about, okay, what can I talk about? And then like something from my childhood. And I was like, oh, wait. So Perler Beads were the small little plastic beads that you would put on shapes. Like there was like templates, these mm -hmm. shapes, different animals, stars, whatever. Yeah. And then you would place the little beads, their little plasticky beads on the right colors and then you would iron it oh yeah you would iron them all together and then it came out in that shape because they're like so flat on the top yes so it's not like the side of the bead it's if the... you're watching robin will put a picture right here for you because perler beads perler beads a time for us yeah. we had family friends that had buckets gallons <laughs> of these perler beads every color you could think of <laughs> every template you could think of and we would go over there, take up the whole flipping dining room oh, yeah. table. Those things are tiny. They're so teeny. I mean, we had it everywhere, all over the dining room table. Me and sis and our family friends, and we would just sit around there for hours. My and kids just would never build all this stuff. Yeah. And and have our have the parents iron them. <laughs> and we had all these shapes. I mean, I had so many. What are, where did you put them? Like, what did you do with them? A gift to friends. I had a bunch in my room. Like keychains. Keychains. Earrings. I don't ever really think I did earrings. Yeah. But I, I think like keychains key and like this star for you. Right. Like, you know, little kids. We, I don't know. I think I trinkets. probably did it like at, at somebody's, you know, birthday party or whatever. But the one that we did more so was the ones that you bake. And they're really like. Those are very durable. These were not the ones. Yeah, that you bake. I don't really remember the baking ones. Yeah, we not, didn't do that. Not always a little lackluster. Yeah, perler, little perler beads. I would say it was only a couple years yeah. we were really into them. Well, we were into them. God, I bet the the mom like low key loved being able to vacuum those up. Like it's annoying that they get the everywhere. Crunch. Yeah, they're like. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> Told you we weren't done with ASMR. A little more ASMR. <laughs> um. Yeah. No perler beads. What a time. Nice. We were obsessed for a couple years. Love it. Uh, so mine stems from a conversation that I had at happy hour last night with the gals, um, mm -hmm. around how we used to call it going out. Like, oh, are you going out with him? Didn't mean you're actually going out like the verb of like, you're going on a date, but mm. that's what you would call it when someone was your boyfriend or girlfriend. You weren't dating them. You no. Were going out with them. No, we never said dating because we were too young. So when y'all would ask someone, like if a guy were to ask you, he do you would say, go do you want to go out with me? Yeah. I feel like going out was still kind of a, my voice just cracked. Sorry, y'all. Um, I feel like going out was still kind of a thing for me, but it yeah. wasn't. We never said dating because I we. It wasn't dating. It was more like. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Do you want to be my, my boyfriend? Yeah, we could say that too. Or we'd be like, do you want to go out? And so I think because we were too young to date, mm. that was our way of saying it without saying it. Let me ask it. you a question. When did you have your first boyfriend? I mean, unofficially. Let's, let's get a little personal. Unofficially. I, I mean, it's hard to say this, but in my mind, like an fourth actual, grade. Okay. But like an actual boyfriend, not like a elementary school. I know, but he was. We would hold hands under the table and tag and we got in trouble from this good end. Okay. You were like nine. Let's, and, let's... He, and he spray painted under the... Bridge by the Creek Fire Elementary School, Z Heart R. Girl, I was such a nerd. I did not even. He was give like the only, yeah. The time of day. I think it when was I just, was young. We had all of our classes together. He was so nice. Like his family was so nice. It was just like so wholesome. Boys would have crushes on me, and I just literally was like, yeah. y'all are all so annoying. Yes, yeah, until wasn't. I was high in high school. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Zach wasn't. I had a couple boyfriends in middle school that I don't even know if I count that. Probably like my first. Boyfriend, boyfriend was ninth grade. Mine was in ninth grade. Yeah. I, I mean, didn't I, even have any, like, not yeah. counting ones before then. Because I literally thought boys were so annoying because they were. I would ha I would have a boyfriend in middle school, you know, here and there. But it was something that maybe lasted, like, a week. And then we'd be like, I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I don't want to be your girlfriend uh -huh. anymore. It was never serious. It was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Like, 
oh, I don't have to hold hands with you at Skate World. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I was <laughs> never devastated. World. Yeah. Yeah. It was more just like crushes, I feel like. Oh, definitely crushes. But never, like, I just never had an actual, like, we're dating situation yeah. until high school because I just wasn't interested in yeah. it. Yeah. I definitely had friends who had, you know, boyfriend boyfriends in middle school. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't, you know. I I think I only had two in high school. I just had my... um. My ex boy, my ex boyfriend that I ended up dating in high school, but that liked yeah. me in fifth grade. That mm-hmm. let me go to the man call it tournament. <laughs> I didn't date him though. I wouldn't give him the time of day <laughs> until high school. <laughs> Finally came around. Finally, <laughs> going out, going out. You want to go out? You want to go out? Will you go out with me? <laughs> Love that's it. Literally how they said it. Will you go out with me? And then I feel like the generation before you was. Do you want to go steady? Yeah, let's go steady. Yeah, that they was... would like literally pin each other. Pin mm-hmm. in like the I want to say fifties maybe they would like wear their boyfriend's like pin from wow you know whatever organization they were in or mm-hmm. like fraternity or whatever mm-hmm. they would like pin you oh what was that called in the show uh, Greek you know the mm-hmm. show Greek yeah I love it was that called show something though yeah let me look it up it starts with an L I want to say lapel no L-la-la. I know what you're saying I know I, you know it mm-hmm. pin to get pinned. No. Going steady. Lavalier. Lavalier. It came to me. Lavalier. Yep. I feel like that's when they would wear the others like yeah. fraternity or sorority. We should do that thing one day where we, uh, let me see if these jars of candy. We should do that thing where we like read each other's Google search history. Oh God. <laughs> I, I could not even imagine what is on mine. Yeah. The you most might... randomness ever. You want to do it now? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, let's do okay, it. Okay, but don't curate it. Well, no, no, no. I, okay. We just got to figure out my phone situation. Oh, yeah. How about filming on? How about phone. next time we have a third person join us, third chair? They um, have to guess. Like we send them a list where it's all mixed up, anonymized, and they if have to guess which me. one of us oh, it that's is. That's good. Um, we're going to have Bailey on for when I take you back to Cheetah Girls in okay. a couple weeks. So that's when we can uh, okay. slot her into. Yeah, or to- Mare, since she knows. Both of us a little oh, that's bit better. True. We'll have Mara um, for some more trivia. For yeah. Me. That'll be fun. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. All right. You ready to go then now? Let's do it. Okay. <gasps> exciting news. Very exciting news. Traders season three, we already talked about, is confirmed. Yes. Well, now they've confirmed the cast. The cast. So before I give the list, Robin, let me ask. Mm-hmm. Scale of one to 10, how amped are you based on the cast? Seven. Okay. Just because I know it's going to slap no matter what. It's going to slap. It's traitors. There's a couple of like, wow, that's going to be good TV because I have watched them for years, mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Maybe three of them. I'm like, yes. Yeah. The I rest, would, I'm like, who? I'm probably like who? a six Yeah. on the excitement scale because main reason is there is no one from the challenge on there. That is such a miss on their part because there are so many people that would say yes. Yes, and so many. I mean, who made the entire last season? Or maybe they wouldn't who say yes the enti- because they don't want to be in his footsteps because he has big follow. shoes to fill. You can't follow CT. But They're like, like nah, I'll, I'm going to give it a gap and then I'll go in for season four. Like CT carried that entire season I and mean, y'all didn't get anyone from the challenge? He captivated the nation. The world. The world. And people who didn't even know him because a lot of people don't watch challenge. I forget yeah. how niche sometimes yeah. the challenge is. Thank you for saying that word correctly. Was I People say, say niche. niche. Ew, no. Yeah. PSA, it's niche. I, <laughs> niche, the challenge is. Like, I forget because I talk about it like it's yeah. the number one show on earth. Yeah, but... I feel like it's any any show like that. Like, if you know, you know. If you don't, you have no clue. Like, with me and Vanderpump Rules. Right. Yeah. Sorry, my son was just yelling on the other side of the door. Gotta love um, it. Yeah, any, any niche show like that. It's definitely not like a mass-consumed one, yeah. but like, if you know, you know. Yeah, and I feel like Traders got CT on the map for the people that totally. don't know about it. Like, yeah. everyone was in love with CT. Yeah. I love CT. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little upset about no challenge people, but totally. there's still, like you said, there's got a, f- a few on here, which are probably different for me than they are for mm-hmm. you, of who we're excited about. So mm-hmm. let's go through it real quick. Um, starting off with Sierra Miller. Yep, Summer House. She's so pretty. Uh, Gabby Wendy from The Bachelor and Bachelorette. He's going to Tampa. Um, <laughs> sorry, niche inside joke. Speaking of niche. Yeah. Um, we've got Sam Ashgari, who is Britney Spears' ex-husband. I think he's going to be villain vibes. That's an odd choice. That is a opinion. very odd choice. And also, wasn't his whole like shtick that he wasn't a clout chaser? 
Yeah. And now you're on a reality show. And now you're on a reality show. Not like, buying it. Buddy. Pretty fresh off, off the breakup. Right. Uh, Dorinda Medley. Wait, is he the one that she just broke up with or that was a different guy? It was recent, right? No, they were married though. Guy before this last one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dorinda Medley. Roni at Real Housewives of New York. She's the one that said, I made it nice. And clip, clip. Nothing? No. Oh, I, she's I good haven't TV. watched one episode of Real Housewives in my entire she life. She has. She's the one with the really short, uh, like platinum blonde hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what she looks like. Not Marge, but. No, no. I think yeah. I know what she looks yeah. like. But again, I don't watch any of those. Yeah. Um, Chriselle Staus from Selling Sunset. Yep. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, Brittany Haynes. She's from Big Brother. She's from Old School Big Brother. And I actually was a huge fan of her on Big Brother. Cool. She um she played really well. I think she made it to the top three or four. And then she was in like this all boy alliance plus her. Mm. They were like, she was just close with the boys. Mm -hmm. And then they just axed her at of the course. end. Of course. Tough, yeah. tough. Um, Danielle Reyes from Big Brother. So she's from season three of Big Brother. I barely, I had to look her up, barely remember her. It's I mean, got to be decades ago. 2002. Wow. So long, long time ago. Um, Bob the Drag Queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. Got nothing. I have no idea. That is a great nom de plume. Bob the drag queen. I guess it's not a nom de plume if you're not an author. Alter ego. Drag queen name. There you go. There you go. Uh, Wells Adams from The Bachelor. We love, love Wells. Him. I love that choice. Mm -hmm. um, Chanel Ion. Um, I hope I said Real that Housewives right. of Dubai. She's also like a an international supermodel. Like it's very Beautiful. recognized, recognizable face. The thing with Wells though mm. that just made me think of is um, Pilot Pete. Like, I think it's going to be same vibes where, like, he's, like, really in good with everyone, mm. has, like, the alliance that controls things, figures out stuff, right. and then they they ax him because he's too good. But Pete did make it a long time. Yeah. So it could work out for Wells, but I, I agree with you. I think it's going to be similar vibes. But I don't know if he'll be as um cunning as Pilot Pete what ended up being. Yeah, I feel end. like he's going to be a little bit more personable. A little, little bit more, more nice guy. Yeah. Pilot Pete took us all by surprise. Pete was great. Yeah, he was. Great TV. <laughs> great TV mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. um, okay, next up we have Dylan Efron. Who? Zach Efron's brother. I mean, I know, but who? Um, they did like one show together, right? Couldn't tell you, but he's they a cutie pie. I only know he's a cutie pie based on um, Zach Efron's Instagram mm. and like his TikToks. I see them together. I and feel they... like there's just another show that's like the relation uh, or the relatives of famous people, you know, where they had to guess which... Yeah. I'm like, were they on show? That? No, it's just like, this is not that show. This is a show about with celebrities. He's just a celebrity's brother. Yeah, true. You know? True. Um, Next up is Tony Vlachos. This is a big one. He has won Survivor twice. Mm. And he is a beast. I think there's no way they don't make him a traitor. Like, yeah. he is a beast. And then we have Jeremy Collins from Survivor, also a beast, great player, very well loved and liked mm -hmm. by the Survivor peeps. We've got Dolores Catania. 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 Real Housewives of New Jersey. We love Dolores. I don't know. Dolores. I have a bad feeling that I'm not going to like all the housewives. You're going to like Dolores. We'll see. But if Dorinda, I think, is going to be... Uh, she'll she won't last long i think dolores is very she has a really good head on her shoulders okay which I just you can't really say the, about most of them i just hope it's not the same vibe as last time where all of the like housewives banded together and they were annoying i don't need that in my life yeah but it's only what three of them um i yeah. think so and then there's one other bravo oh wait no there's another one robin oh, two other bravo sorry robin dixon she's real housewives oh. of potomac so then there's six potomac potomac and then bob harper he's the biggest loser coach Okay, so there was a show, that show that Zac Efron did, Down to Earth. I don't know. It was like a, kind of like a documentary type series, nature type series. Uh, he was a producer on it and appeared alongside Zach for, I think, mm. like four episodes. So mm. he's got a little notoriety there. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, Bob Harper from Biggest Loser, random. Uh, Lord Ivar Mountbatten. From the British Parliament. Oh, my gosh. I hope it's like, what was his name? John? Yeah, it'll oh be another John situation. Those are also, speaking of big shoes to fill. It is, yes. Lord Ivar. Um, Carolyn Weiger. She's from Survivor, more recent Survivor. Um, this one is the one I'm most excited about for the season. Rob Mariano, a.k.a. Boston Rob, a.k.a. the best Survivor player to ever do it, in my he opinion. so, so good on Deal or No Deal Island. 
I didn't even watch so endearing. I cannot believe you didn't watch it. You should binge it. It is so good and I really like him well I love him from yeah I've just watched him on Survivor it, it just ended over. and he's already being cast for traitors that's I mean, awesome he's number one in Survivor universe like yeah. that's it's not even up for discussion who the best Survivor player of all time is. it's Boston Rob and mm -hmm. he has the best story because he fell in love with his wife and they now have four daughters together Amber Robin you know his story no okay so on his um, first season of Survivor because mm -hmm. he did multiple. Yeah, but his first season, him and Amber, mm -hmm. who's now a wife, oh. met each other on the beach. Cute. In Survivor, ended up like flirting and having this like little flingy fling on on Survivor. Then they both make it. They're the final two. One of them's gonna win. Okay, she shows up to the finale wearing a shirt that says "I Heart Boston Rob." Oh my gosh! I just got chills. That okay. is such a cool story. Yes, and she won. She beat him his first season. And he's like, "Will you marry me so I can have happy marriage?" <laughs> <Literally. laughs> um, so then they end up staying together. Yeah, because you know there's flings on Survivor sometimes. Yeah, any kind of reality show like that. Yeah, yeah. Survivor a little less because kind of gross out there. But yeah, they they had their first date on Survivor. Like they won an, a reward challenge. He took her with him. They got to watch a movie in the back of a truck and eat popcorn. Cute. I can't. I anyway, look at pictures of him from oh, season one. He's such a cutie. Yeah. He's such a cutie. Anyway, so then they ended up getting married. They now have four daughters. Wow. Then they did um, Survivor season mm, 40. Survivor season Jesus 40 was Christ. winners at war. It was all winners. The, it was the best. Yeah. And him and Amber were on it because Rob came back and did another season of Survivor and won. He's won two, right? I think he's won two. I think he's won two. Yeah. Um, and so then Amber was on it too. So they got to compete again together on Winners at War. Um, neither of them won. Oh, bummer. Um, but yeah, so he's just number one. He's the one I'm most excited about on this yeah. cast. And you probably, everyone out there knows who Boston Rob is. Even if you're not a Survivor fan, I feel like Boston never... Rob is. Oh my God, he was so cute. He was, oh, so cute. And he was um, such a little player, flirty. So Robin, he's got a great personality. Robin on his, I think, second season, the one he ended up winning, he formed this alliance with all the ladies, mm. and they all just did his bidding. He charmed them all with his Boston Rob ways, mm -hmm. and he they all did his bidding. Like mm -hmm. anything he wanted to happen, he just talked to the ladies, and they did it for him. And he ended up. Backstabbing all in the end and winning the whole thing. Yep. So winner was at Redemption Island. He's runner up twice and winner once, according to Wikipedia, which could be wrong. I think that's right, actually. Yeah. I don't know what the name of the season was that he won, but it was, it might have been Redemption Island. Yeah. Okay. So very excited about Boston Rob. Moral of the story. Yes. Um, And then last couple here, Tom Scandal. He who shall not be named. Of course <sighs> they got him. He he's is insufferable. A, he's a villain. Yeah. I watched. You Brings know, in the Vanderpump crowd. Yeah. You know. I watched this last season, of course, of, of VPR. They just did the, the, the last episode was like the secrets revealed. They had a three part reunion before oh, that. How annoying. Yeah. I just, they are really shoving him down our throats. I mean, he was on the other, um, the uh, other like survival. Yeah. With, um, Tyler Cameron and Jojo. Yeah. Siva. Yeah. He was on that too. And, uh, He's just like the worst kind of human to where he doesn't think he's the worst. He's the, the worst kind of narcissist that exists, Ugh. in my opinion. So do you think they're going to make him a traitor? No. Okay. I think that's too on, the, on nose, the nose. And I think that he would be horrible at it. Like nobody wants to be a traitor with Tom Sandoval. I think True. he's going to I think he's going to play the faithful angle so hard that they're going to think that he's a traitor because he's first going over. First round table. Because he's going over the top. I hope they vote him out quick. Oh, I think he's out first round table. I don't even table. watch Vanderpump, but just like the stuff I have seen. No, and none heard. of those people, unless it's some of the big brother people that I don't know, nobody's going to be like, let's keep Tom Scandival around. Unless the traitors are really good and they have influence and they convince people not to vote for him because he's such a good like shield for them. Mm. I'm curious to see what they do with Boston Rob, too. Like, do you go traitor? Or is that two on the nose? That's two on the nose, too. But well, then, they usually do one that's on the nose. Right. Like a red herring. So I don't know. Yeah. it could. I don't know. It's yeah. going to be crazy. And then last, we have Nikki Garcia, which is Nikki Bella. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Robin was like, wait, I think that's Nikki Bella from the, the Bella twins, the ones that wrestle or whatever. Yeah, they had a couple of Bravo shows. So. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, No idea when that's going to be. I don't think they it's They haven't said. given a date. Yeah. But if they have the full cast, it's a good sign that we're moving, we're moving somewhere. Yep. 
All right. Next up, very exciting. We talked about this last time a little bit. I am watching live, um, you know, up to this time of recording for the new Love Island. Um, it's delivering so far. I'm not going to do any spoilers. It's, it's, it's delivering so far. A bit of a different twist on a couple things. Pause. Mm-hmm. I saw mm-hmm. on Twitter. This is why I have to be careful because I'm not like Joey Essex. Well, no, I saw that, but I don't even know what that means. But I saw just people making comments that like something just feels off and not right with this season. It's too early to say that, in my opinion. Okay, it's literally. I don't know. People are like, this is just not the same vibe as we're used to. The they said three episodes. I think they said there's no main character energy. Like everyone just seems like supporting cast. But you're right. It's early. But that was just some of the stuff I saw on Twitter, and I was like. Oh, I bet that was before yesterday's episode because there was some there was some drama on yesterday's episode. Mm, Okay. Um, Do you have anyone that you like? Don't say who, but I do. Yes, absolutely. I do. Um, The thing that I love is that. Well, a couple of things. One is that I can tell now, like I guessed on a couple of people. I was like, oh, they sound like they're from Wales. Oh, they sound Mm. like they're from Liverpool. Like I can pick up on the accents Look at us now. Learning I know. the geography. It's like when you sound like the Beatles, you're from Liverpool. When, right. Like we all know the the Scousa or mm-hmm. whatever it is accent. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just that feeling of the like. She was little. You are watching on demand. This. Oh, I was it? like, what was yeah, that like, noise? It's like that weird like thing on ITV. Uh huh. And then it's like you are watching on demand. Your vote won't count, and it may still be kept. Well, you know what I mean. Yes, I was like, oh, chills. <laughs> Robin's locked in. I knew she chills, would. Chills, chills, chills. Um, I do have a few favorites. Okay, there's you know the typical like fuckboy energy guy. Of there's the typical like big fake white chompers. Oh, they they all fake. Um, yeah. I love Maya Jamma. Oh, she's just she stunning. is just so. Good. She's just beautiful. She's so so good. Um, I I have thoughts on like the design of the villa. They did. Is it very different? Well, they did instead of like you know the bright colors. They yeah. they kept it bright, but they did it monochromatic in a room. So their makeup room where they get ready. So each room is a yes. just a color. Yes. Oh, like different okay. shades of that color, but all like bold and bright. Got it. Their makeup room where they where they get the girls where they yeah. get dressed and do their makeup. Is orange. No, I I was praying you weren't gonna say like yellow or orange because that is like a worst case scenario. Jarring, bright, dark, orangish, reddish orange. That's worst case scenario for doing makeup. Awful. It's awful. I don't mind it everywhere else. I think it's kind of cool everywhere else. Like have like a seafoam green, neon green situation. Well, like any other color in the makeup room besides orange. Orange. uh, Interesting. Awful. I had to I had to say something about that. Um, there are, there's one couple that's standing out already that I'm like, I could see them going all the way. Wow. But three of episodes course, in, but of course they put a bomb in the mix uh, at the end of the one that I met right now. By now this will be shit. I don't even know. Four episodes ago. Yeah. Three. Um, and she, uh, this is whatever spoiler, who cares? It's like, whatever. Um, she walks in and all the guys had blindfolds on and they made all the girls go up to the terrace. Okay. This is the first girl bombshell. Okay. And uh, all the guys had blindfolds on. They're just standing there and the girls are up at the terrace like, what is this? She doesn't say a word. She kisses each of them. Mm -hmm. And then she goes back and kisses one of them again and then takes his blindfold off and is like, come with me. Oh. And they go like walk to the hideaway to go on a date and then it ended. So that's where I'm at right now. And they just show like the girl that he's coupled up with right now. And they are so cute. And she's just like leaning on the railing on the terrace like. FML. Oh, no. Yes. Let me ask you this. Are there some attractive people on there? Yes. Okay, great. I mean, the women I'm having, like, I'm finally kind of learning who's who because they all are just so... Do they all look the same in plastic? Not, not the same, but... Do they look plastic? Kind of. Oh, I hate that. They just are doing the most. I don't I don't like, like the that. the full, I'm baking the face. See, it's just not my style, Yeah, there's Robin. a couple of them that aren't, though, you know? Okay, good. Um, But I feel like that's become more of the norm of, like, the influencer kind of look... I know. Um, with the uh, world we live yeah, in, yeah, there's a couple of them that looked really similar, but then of, of course, the more you watch it, the more you're like, oh, that's so and so, and that's so and so. So I think I would say that for anyone you know uh, hesitant about watching it, or once it comes out on Hulu, if you're like, oh, well, I've heard things on Twitter, I would say give it a solid three episodes before oh, yeah. you decide. I wasn't trying to. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. I just was like, let me ask Robin since she's seen it if these yeah. are. I had that feeling the first couple, but okay. then this last one, I was like, okay, Great. finally, here we go. But right. 
But that's, that's every season. Every season. Every season Let's be t- honest. The, every season, the first week is boring. Yeah, of course. That's just the way that it is. Yep. But then you're in it. Then yeah. the relationships start forming. Think, Drama starts happening. I think I know the reason why it's like that. And again, this is the very first episode, so you're going to see it immediately. The way they coupled them up, it wasn't public vote. They didn't get to pick. They ranked each other on uh, most boyfriend material to least, most girlfriend material to least. Without- and then they just matched them up one to one. Who ranked them? Each other. And they never met each other. Correct. That's so No, no, dumb. no. They met each other. They got to chat. So they all got to like, instead of like the girls walking in and it's all the girls together yeah. and they do the champagne and then the guys walk in one at a time, right. they all just started showing up and it, they got to mingle with each other and talk with each other for a while. Who knows how long? Mm. But they got to meet each other and like drink and, and chat just yeah. like they would any night in the villa. Right. And then they lined up and ranked each other. Interesting. And then they just matched them up one to one. If you got like sixth, you would be coupled up with the person who also got sixth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that's going to mess with the vibe. That's an interesting choice. I don't like that. No. And like, I I mean, maybe one of them also, is like, how, hell yeah, for both from both sides. But I don't think. But also, how awful do you feel being ranked last yeah. for boyfriend or girlfriend material? Yeah. Well, the boyfriend one, he was the youngest one. Oh, so well, that was like an that easy. Tracks. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why they did the girl. I can't remember. But yeah, that that would hurt my feelings. Yeah, it would hurt my feelings yeah. too. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's good. I'm excited about it. Oh, oh I'm excited too. Once yeah. it starts popping up on Hulu, I'll be locked in. Mm-hmm. Um, But you'll keep us updated in the meantime. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up, uh, real quick, Shiloh Jolie Pitt, the daughter of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, is dropping Pitt from her name. Yep, turned 18 and said no longer Pitt. Which means the rumors that have been out there about old Brad are in the, probably in the airplane are probably true. It's a bummer. Probably not a good guy. Yep. Or not a good dad or whatever. Okay, so you're Brad Pitt. That don't amaz me <laughs> much. Don't even get me started on Shania. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's disappointing. I mean, I'm never really surprised anymore when I find out about a male celebrity or a male in general being a terrible person. Well, like, also just like we've been talking about all these awful things that are coming out about people in Hollywood. So yeah, yeah, nothing really surprises me anymore. Yep. Yep. Who Uh, knows where, what the real story is there. mm -hmm. If it's, it could be Shiloh just wanting to like simplify things. I already have like a Jolie last name. I don't need a pit last name or it could be taking her mom's side, getting things from her mom's side and maybe not witnessing them firsthand. But I think most likely she's seen some shit. Yeah, probably so. It's a bummer. Yeah. Okay. On the not bummer side. Yeah. Well, kind of. Eh. On the rando side, <laughs> um, Jason Sudeikis mm-hmm. was out there mm-hmm. asking Travi some questions. Yeah, some uh, live podcast situation yeah. thing where they're all acting like the, honestly, like that SNL skip where they're like, Bill Bears. It was they're giving like, that vibe. They're like broing out with hot dogs and beer. Yep. And like situation. fake mustaches all falling off. It looks yeah. like kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. But he gave Trav, I mean, he was really he putting straight, him on the line. He straight up asked Travi. When are you going to make an honest woman out of Taylor? And then he made the joke of, you know, she doesn't need to be working anymore. Your kicker said so. Yeah. Because of the Harrison. That's good. Harrison. <laughs> Harrison uh, Buckhurst speech. Yeah. So um, that was interesting. And Travi didn't really like it at first. Well, he laughed until he said she doesn't need to work anymore. And then he went serious. Yeah. He's like, come on, dude. He's like, and then he finally was like, okay, I'm going to laugh this off and make it goofy again. Yeah. The first thing that they said which was like he was actually laughing more seriously. It was where they're like, she can afford it. Like, she could buy oh, it. yeah. And then Jason Sudeikis took it there. Oh, well, of course. It wasn't as uncomfortable as I thought it was going to be based on the headline. Yeah. Like, he he took it just like anybody would, I right. think. Like, he didn't take it too softly. He didn't get too pissed yeah. at him. Like, I thought it was just the right amount. I think what he said that was like, not anytime soon or something like that. Yeah. To where if I'm Taylor, either... She's like, what the hell? That was a little too real. <laughs> right. Or they've had this discussion. I guarantee they've had this discussion. They've had this discussion. And they're like, anytime this comes up, let's not keep it vague. Let's not hint at things and be cryptic like she kind of is with every other thing. I honestly feel like maybe Trav was like, if this comes up, I don't want to do the thing that you used to do. Mm, yeah. Or it, it, who knows whose idea it was. But I right. think they're both on the same page of like, screw that. I like I can do that in my music and with my other projects and whatever. But with our relationship, let's just be very transparent. Yep. Like, nope, not happening anytime soon. Yeah. They've clearly discussed it. It's clearly been out there in the, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Ether? No. Yeah, in the universe. Zeitgeist. Um, <laughs> to where, like, they've had to, ta- had to come No, up. they've definitely talked yeah. about it. 
They've definitely yeah, talked. There's no way you can avoid that for this long. No <laughs> doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Okay. Um, another quick hit here mm-hmm. um, on the new movies that have been confirmed. So Peaky Blinders, did you ever watch it? I didn't. I don't know if it's your speed. Yeah. It's Nate not- watched it. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't I don't know if you would like it. I've as heard much. really good things. It's just it's not a my great show. Yeah. Um I've seen it here or there when he's been watching it. Yeah. And I'm, you know, walk walked by and I'm Poor just like Shelby. Eh. Yeah, it didn't didn't draw me in. We'll just say that. Oh, so good. Yeah. Um, so officially gonna have a movie. Cool. Um Killian, I always want to say Cillian Murphy, yeah. but Killian Murphy um is confirmed to star in it and produce it. So wow. that means it'll be a one yeah. because he is next yeah. level and yeah. he is the iconic Thomas Shelby. Let me ask you this. Mm. Does it need a movie? No. Okay. But I bet it'll be good. Sex in the City. Here we go again. Sex in the City's movie is great. The first one. The second, the second one. one's awful. Yeah. But the first one's good. The first one was fine. I watched it the other day. I like it. Really? Oh, you don't like the first one? I liked it. Oh, there, I liked the it. The scene where Charlotte says no to Mr. Big in the middle of the street ruined that movie for me. Oh. Ruined it. Her oh, stupid no. bird on her hat. I love how they go on the honeymoon and then Charlotte shits herself. <laughs> Come on. That movie's good. The first Sex one's good. Sex in the good. City movie walks so Bridesmaid could run. Bridesmaid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think the first one's good. The second one's awful, but the, the first one's one, awful. I've seen both of them multiple times. But Me yeah. too. Yeah. Anyway, just wondering if you thought it needed it. It doesn't. Okay. But I'm excited mm-hmm. and I will be tuning in. Okay, what else we got? Mm. <laughs> that was a big sip of wine from Robin. You a asked little ASMR. A little ASMR. Like, in my mouth. A little ASMR for y'all. I'm going to have to cut that. <laughs> um, Where in the world is Kate Middleton? Oh, I was like, what is she singing? Remember that? We talked about this before the, the yes. theater game, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Yes. So they've come out and said Yo. she will not be, may never return to her royal role after her cancer treatment. They apparently took the cancer out. She's still undergoing treatment. She's recovering. She's playing with her kids is what they're saying. But That's what they're saying, Robin, but like, We ain't sorry. seen her. They said no, not for 2024 at least, and maybe never. Not to be a conspiracy theorist, but what the heck is going on over there? Is she in a coma? Something's not right. We've is been she saying alive? This, we've been saying this for months. That's what I'm worried about. I think the coma thing has legs um, of like, Sometimes when you have an episode, whether it was something cancer related, something, you know, trigger warning, um, eating disorder related, Mm. any kind of health scare, there can be times when your body like shuts down totally, and then you never recover. It could be a number of things. Yeah. And you're just not the same ever again or you're in a coma. I think something's up. I think like a, a death they cannot hide it for that long. That would be wild. But I don't think it's she's healthy and playing with her kids and just not going to go back to her royal duties. It's that just, makes no sense. Yes, and it's almost like them saying, like, she may not return to her royal role is, like, teasing or, like, hey, this is, like, a soft launch of maybe, like, she's not okay. Yeah. But we don't want to come out and say that. It's so a we're soft gonna, like, reverse launch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't Let's know. test Some, the waters. Yeah. Something is not sitting right again. Mm-hmm. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, that that random article came out and I was like, this is weird. Okay. Well, that's all we have for the now. All right. Let's take it to Watch It, Weirdo. Okay. So for Watch It, Weirdo, Kaylee assigned me the movie The Pacifier. And then the day that we recorded that night, I went to watch it and Sawyer shot it down multiple times. Why? She just was not interested. She was like, no, like being kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. I even was like, okay, let's watch the trailer. She was like, absolutely not. No. So we ended up watching. She actually would love it. I'm sure she would. So we watched Galaxy Quest that night. Um, And then I knew that I needed to watch it. Like I even pulled it up a couple of times. And then I just freaking forgot, Kaylee. So here we are again. (laughs) I really, I swear this is not a shtick. Like I, I hate that we're doing two weeks in a row where we didn't watch each other's, but I mean, that is part of the deal. I just, I flat out forgot. It happens. Yeah. It so happens. <sighs> keep your eyes on our Instagram and TikTok because I think I'm going to be donning one of the kids' swim caps and and being the... Being bald Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> it's either that or I'm sucking on a pacifier, which no, I'm not really feeling that, that has vibe. has absolutely nothing to do with the movie. You'll see what the pacifier means in the movie. It has nothing to do with an actual pacifier. I'm going to try to find or have my mom find. I actually know exactly what you should do for the apology okay, video. Okay, you can, you can help me then. I'll help you. Um, I'm going to have my mom find this home video that we did 
I think I might have even talked about this with Hanson and like home videos where you would yeah, yeah. dance when we did Man from Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. With the bald cap, and yeah, it was literally a swim cap. You've you've uh, told me that. So before. well, maybe I can uh, do a little. We need a mashup video of me now doing the bald cap versus there doing you go. Hanson Man from Milwaukee. There you go. So ugh, I feel bad. Like I swear it wasn't because I didn't want to watch it. Probably. It just it's okay. Life happens. It happens. You know? Okay, so Galaxy Quest. I did watch Galaxy Yay. Quest, so I will <laughs> not God. be dressing up as an. Alien. Even though your vampire one was so epic, if y'all have not seen. If you're listening to this or watching oh, this, God. you have not seen Kaylee's vampire apology video. It's better than my painting my whole self blue video. It's a production, to yeah. say the least. The teeth kept falling out. No, I just didn't want to do like the full glue in of the fangs. Oh yeah, it was a it was a thing. So we used gum. Yeah, and I would start talking, and then I would just lose like one fang in the middle of my so sentence. Funny. That's it's the first hilarious. time we've ever like put bloopers or outtakes in a video. I, we had to. It was, it was so good. So good. Yeah. So, so y'all, it's on our TikTok. It's on our Instagram. God, y'all gotta watch it. We just it. keep up in the ante. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I know exactly what you're going to do okay. for the past part. Right, I got you. Right. Just like you directed us in Buffy, I'll direct us okay. for the past part. <laughs> It'll be good. Okay. Um. Okay, so Galaxy Quest. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. It wasn't like my favorite. Okay. I'm I'm sensing a, a vibe of a little over the top, I think is the word I'm, is the the vibe I'm trying to say here. It's like a little over the top for these 90s movies. Yeah, I think like, that's the vibe. Yeah. And, you know, because we talked about Buffy and we talked about how everything the fight scenes the bodies mm-hmm. on the floor like everything was the vampires like everything was a little over the top kind of felt this way in galaxy quest the aliens are over I don't know the what top campy the, maybe is the word yeah i've never used the word camp in my life but i think that's what it means it's kind of like over the top yeah and i'm i'm getting that vibe from all these 90s ones you're giving me and this one is like uh... the plot really lends itself it's to like that it's like a shtick the whole comedy. thing is like the alien shtick. Yeah, which is funny because like... The galactic shtick. I thought that you would really like it because I feel like a lot of these kind of rom-coms and then there's like High School Musical. Like it's all... It all has its own flavor of shtick. It's just... It's not... Like cheesy. But it's a different... It's over the top. Like there's cheesy and it's like feel good cheesy and then there's like over the top that I'm getting from these 90s movies. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I know what you mean but it's just... I don't dislike it. that it's like that... It's different just not to you. It is different yeah. to me. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. It's fair. I don't know. Um. Damn. I just. I. I. It, well, I, I need a real zinger for you. I, I think I got a good one this week. So. Okay. Great. Um. I liked it. It just mm-hmm. wasn't my all time fave. Like I'll probably never go back and watch it again. Yeah. To be honest, with I've you. probably seen it five times. There's a couple you've given me where I would go back, but this yeah. is not one of them. Okay. Um. Snape. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Yes, R.I.P. As soon as he was on my screen, I was like, Snape, Snape, Snape. I was so excited. That's the thing about this movie is that it's got good actors. Oh, it definitely does. Because sometimes they're shtick and they're just like, okay, they're just saying the lines. No, I will definitely not say that it was bad acting in any way. It was more just so shticky. Yeah. (laughs) The only note I took during it, because I was like in it. I mean, I I really like that movie. Right. Is was Snape and Sawyer. I was like, who is that? And she went, oh. Oh my God, it's Professor Snape. I was like, yes, it is. So good. Yeah. So proud of her for yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my next note was, why do I get all these weird ones from you? Again, because th- you've like- seen all the ones that aren't weird. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah. Sigourney Weaver is gorge mm. in this movie. Th- this is like, she's looking hot. Mm. Um, but anything for her boobs to just be pressed up Speaking to her of nose. Yeah, yeah, they were, they like, were fighting for uh, real estate with her chin. Yes, like they, you could tell that they had corseted her yeah. and pushed those puppies up yeah, to her Yeah, for sure, which is part of her character on the show. On the show so, of Galaxy Quest, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. But I was like, good night. Mm-hmm. Multiple scenes where I was like, they are just yeah. boobs, boobs, boobs. Struggling to breathe. Yes, exactly. Um, and then <laughs> when when Tim Allen gets abducted yep. by the aliens, there it is such a long time before he realizes that he's actually, I was like, Okay, get to the right. Get to the realization moment. Yes, it like was just any one movie of those where like things. they don't know that someone's their twin or they. Right, don't know, it's like it felt like they drug it out a little. <sighs> God, for me. we get it. He's hungover. He's not still drunk. Yeah, it was like they drug it out. I was like, yeah. we get it. They really played that up of like he's a like an egotistical Physical man actor who's who is the center of attention. Hungover. Yes, and who is hungover? Yeah, yeah. I really, was. I was like, get there. Get for there for about two minutes too long. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my next note was, why did they make the aliens so weird with weird hair? But then you see what they really look like when they're not wearing their yes. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, this was a, a choice. Again, over the top kind of. Did you recognize the. Yes, I did. The female one? Yes. Yeah. She was from uh, Josie, Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. yeah I, I recognized her instantly. Sawyer did too. Yeah. I was like, oh, there she is. Yep. <laughs> um, and then I was like, oh, these people are way too calm for being in space with aliens. Yeah. Like when they first find out, they're like, oh, and they're like eating their little um, Midwestern lunch that they, mm -hmm. we got you the food from your homeland. Oh, yeah. And it's like them eating their Midwestern lunch from where they're from. And or Snape what has like. Snape has like these weird worms because he plays a creature in the show. Yeah. Um, but I was like, these people are way too calm for being abducted by aliens. I, mean, I would be do? freaking the F out. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, if you think about it, they're like, quote unquote, washed up. So I think they're like, ooh, excitement. Oh, uh, yeah. Fair. We get to do something. I guess so. I guess they get to do something. They get to be abducted. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did like the character <laughs> who no one knows his real name, his last name. Oh, yeah. Guy. And, yeah. He's like, I'm just crewman number six. I was just on an episode to die to prove that there was a serious problem. So funny. That's Sam Rockwell. Yes. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. He was funny throughout. Like, yeah, he was. He was good. He had all his little like that's the thing, Robin, is like there were funny parts. Mm -hmm. There were funny parts that I did enjoy. And there were certain characters that I didn't enjoy. It's just. Some of it I felt like was a little over the top. Definitely. You definitely. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the little baby aliens, they're so cute at first when they go to the planet and all the little baby aliens are out. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're so cute. And then you're like, oh, never mind. Not and so cute anymore. And then they attack their own. Yeah. Then not so cute anymore. Yeah. Um, Justin Long mm -hmm. is such a baby in this movie. Yes. I love him. I like, love that. Mo that moment in the movie is just like, oh, yes. the payoff. I love him in everything yeah, that he's, he's in. He's in, he's just not that into you. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I enjoy him. Yeah. Um, he did a great job of playing the nerd that so saves young. the day. Mm -hmm. um, so that was cute. The shooting scene, very dramatic again. Kind of like with the Buffy dramatic of the fighting scene. Same thing. Yep. Same vibe. Um, of course, when they crash, they crash right into the convention. How convenient. And then they can play it all off. Like, it was all part of the. Yep. You know what the shooting yeah. scene reminded me of? Mm -hmm. That scene in Twilight where we see the epic battle scene. Not Twilight original, I think it, I can't remember which movie it is, but it's all in Alex's or Alice's head. Oh, Breaking Dawn Park, like where it's two. like so dramatic, where they rip off Carlisle's head and yeah. everyone in the theater. I remember, I will never forget this experience in my yeah. life. I can picture it in my brain. We all thought it was real. Me sitting in the theater yeah. thinking that he ripped off mm -hmm. Carlisle's head in the whole theater. <gasps> you didn't read the books? Yes. Oh, but I guess it maybe had they didn't do that in the books. Either they didn't do, I haven't read, the, or there was so long between the books and the movie that I didn't realize they had done. It. I bet it's that. Yeah. Yeah. And I just remember the whole theater <gasps> gasping. In but unison. also, <clears throat> they changed some stuff from the books. Oh, for so sure. So then that yeah. also could have been like, oh my God, did they change this yeah, yeah, in the yeah. movie, you know? Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Um, it was dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and then I said, any excuse to show off Sigourney Weaver's boobs? Yeah. They had her suit unbuttoned, unzipped, off her shoulder. I mean, it was just... Any excuse yeah. for it to be boobs. As if she didn't have enough cleavage showing after they crashed. I, it was like, now let's rip her whole yes, shirt off. Now let's rip her whole shirt off. Let's pull it down her yeah. to her elbow. Yeah. It's like, we got it. We get it. She's hot and she has boobs. Her we hair was great in that movie. No, though. she looked great, but it was like, we get it. Yeah. You know? We get it. We get it. Um, and then I said, no name finally got his name and character name mm -hmm. at the end when they like show them all back on the show with yeah. their roles. And he, it had his real name and his character name. And, and then I was, like, cute. monk and the alien chick yes. were together. And I they liked were, his like, character. Weirdly making out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was it was good. It was an easy watch. Yeah. It was just a little. Can I go back to a little over the top? Form. Yeah, totally. All right. But good. Three words. Um, Cheesy. Mm -hmm. Goofy. Yeah. Snape <laughs> had to be Snape. I mean, hello. Love it. The highlight. Yeah, definitely. OK, so what are you giving me for next week? OK, so next week, I cannot believe you have not seen this. And we've even talked about it on the pod is can't hardly wait. Robin, there are some things you say on the pod that I just roll with because oh, I feel like it's easier than asking about. Yeah, sometimes do I do I'll ask, I you. ask about it. Well, sometimes I'll ask you yeah. and sometimes I'll just let it roll if it's quick or whatever. Yeah. Can't hardly wait. Yeah, I have not seen Can't Hardly Wait. So many quotable scenes from that one. Chester Cheeto. Um, the moment when you she... You think I'm going to love it? You're going to love it. Okay. The moment when Jennifer Love Hewitt walks into that party. Speaking of tits being up to your chin. Here we go. Whew. And five head for that matter. <laughs> She's got a big old forehead. 
I remember thinking that in that scene because they watch. they made her hair go like that up the in the front thing. thing. So I just remember being like, I don't know where to look. Forehead, boobs, forehead, boobs, forehead, boobs. <laughs> That's funny. I watched um, for the longest Ghost Whisperer with her. Mm. The show where she was the main girl uh-huh. and she could talk to girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watched that for years. Have you seen the show Ghosts? No. <sighs> It's on Paramount. Seen the movie Ghost. It is so well, yeah. <laughs> it is so good. I don't think I I don't think I've recommended it on here, yeah, but, but it's so good. They have a UK version. It's not as good. Anyway, Ghost is a great show. I got Kelly onto it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be watching Can't Hardly Wait. You're in a lot of reporting it. back. I can't wait. Okay. Can't can't, can't hardly wait. wait to watch <laughs> Can't Hardly Wait. And I will be watching the freaking Pacifier. She will. I promise. It's an easy, it's an hour and a half. It's easy. I'm gonna watch it. It's great. It's cute. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to the recs. Okay, my rec, mm. and you've probably heard about this by now because it's, I think, number something on Netflix, is the show Geek Girl. I've seen it on my Netflix home screen. It is so good. It is, you know, young adult, like everything you want out of that genre. Mm. Love you that know, genre. Nerdy girl that gets bullied, gets discovered to be an international kind of supermodel for mm. one of like the biggest, you know, uh, designer of the day and meets a boy and da 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 da. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. And it's just one season on Netflix. One season on Netflix. It was over too soon. I think it's 10 episodes, but they're shorter. They're not the 45 minute, they're like the 33. Okay. But they end when there's still five minutes left. So whenever mm. you look at like, oh, how much is left in this episode? Just keep that in mind that it's actually about five minutes shorter than the runtime says. I thought that was a lot. I think it's like two and a half. Yeah, five's a lot. Yeah, so it's really good. Um, Just, yeah, like lots of tearing up moments. Love. Silly moments, you know, reminds you of school moments, over the top moments, just like any cheesy kind of young adult Mm -hmm. type of a show or movie. So if you need a light, easy watch, check out Geek Girl. Love it. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, mine is... Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say. No. Fine. It is based off of books. Okay. So... I haven't read the book. If you want to read the books first, those exist as well. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, Mine is... Or book. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> mine is a product or a brand of product. Okay. Um. So all this gold jewelry that I'm rocking... I've my, been noticing. My rings, my bracelets, and my gold earrings mm-hmm. are all from the brand... Pavoy or Pavoy on Amazon. P-A-V-O-I is how you spell it. Okay, I'm looking it up. And they have a really great jewelry. They have silver too if you're Mm a silver gal. Um, I'm just a gold gal. It's all very affordable on Amazon and it doesn't rust. (gasps) Like I I never take off these bracelets Mm -hmm. and shower with them and do whatever with them and they're all so gold. I've had them for months and months. Nice. So... If you're looking for some affordable jewelry, oh, yeah. they have every type, everything. I've like gone, I've, I've sent these bracelets to multiple people. I think I've probably bought something off, like this is looking yeah. familiar. Pavoy. It's cute. a good brand. They're sustainable. Is that the one you're wearing right there? Affordable. Yes. That's so cute. The 14K gold plated chunky open twist stackable ring. They all have really, really good reviews. That's like 13 bucks. That's what I'm saying. Very affordable, but they Super don't like tarnish or rust. Wow. Um, so if you're trying to get some new jewelry, that's where I'd go if you want to go affordable. Everything's like 4.4 4 stars. In that's what I'm saying. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, great. Well, I think that's all we got. I think that's all we have for you this episode. Thanks for watching and listening. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate those of you who comment and leave reviews, especially. On all the things. Mm-hmm. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TikTok, Instagram. Yep. And if you want to check out our merch, uh, make sure to find that in our link in bio on our Instagram. Mm-hmm. We got some new styles out. Yeah, we do. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.